Welcome back to The Sims 4 Reality House. This is episode four, so if you haven't seen any of the other episodes leading up to this one, definitely go check those out because you're gonna hear the rules and everything in episode one. Also, if you guys are enjoying this series, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that I know that you like it so that I can do more reality series like this in the future. But let's get into it. In the last episode, we dealt with a little bit of heartbreak. Grayson got sent home. Grayson and Rain had a little bit of a love relationship going on. It's a little bit upsetting that Grayson had to go. I'm pretty heartbroken about it still. We also had a little bit of drama with Miss Harper and Alicia. Alicia and Harper were best friends in episode like one and two, pretty much in the beginning of this series. But now Holden has kind of caused a little bit of some drama in that relationship. Harper and Holden have been flirting it up ever since we had that like beer pong tournament. There has definitely been a lot of flirting going on and Alicia Alicia. Alicia was the one who was interested in Holden first, and I know this is super petty, but it just seems so unexpected from Harper. You would think Harper was like sweet, kind. She came in here and she started cooking for people immediately. So I'm a little bit confused. And I feel like the other characters in the house are gonna be a little bit confused as well because Alicia is honestly one of the sweetest people in the house. Currently, she's just standing there looking at this painting for some reason, but I kind of feel bad for her a little bit. I feel like she doesn't really deserve this. And also like ever since it's been happening, Harper has been kind of like ignoring her a little bit. I'm hoping some of the other players kind of like pick up on that. Like everyone else doesn't have any problem with Alicia. Harper was also the one to get the winner's suite last. So she, oh my God, there's an invasion. She hopefully benefited from having a good sleep in here. I don't know how much sleep I would get if I had these three staring at me all night, but hopefully a good rest nonetheless. Harper has been swimming around so much in this pool. She has unlocked an energetic lifestyle. So I'm assuming that's probably gonna help her in this competition. We have a little bit of flirting out here. Someone in the comments said that Rain was kind of like a black widow in a way that she's trying to get all the guys out by flirting with them, which I don't really think the case. I think she does have real feelings for Grayson, but she's got the very flirty mood let over here. Before everyone gets too comfortable in the hot tub, I'm gonna introduce you guys to our relationship bonding experience. Last night, I placed these bee boxes. All of them have some sleeping bees in them, and all of them are enraged. <laughs> Our activity today, we're gonna do some beekeeping. We're gonna bond with the bees and maybe get some honey. So all of our sims are on the way over. I feel like we should probably change out of our formal wear here. Actually, we have to. We have to wear the bee suit. All right, I need everyone to change into the bee suit, please. Oh, this is great. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm a little nervous. This is gonna be so fun. Okay, we need everyone to go to their bee box. Who's leaving? Rain is like, nah, I'm out, I'm out. Let's get them interacting with these bees. I'm intrigued to see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my God. Rosa, Rosa and Holden, they've kind of been attacked by the bees. I think I have to interact with them maybe without the bee suit on. We've managed to get some beeswax. Oh my God. Collect the beeswax. What are you doing? <laughs> this is not going well. I feel like they're trying to give them like tips maybe and it's just not working. Bond with the bees. Let's see what happens if we bond with the bees. Oh, cute. <gasps> That's kind of cool. Oh, everyone needs to take off their bee suit. Hold on. The way to the bees is to take off the suit. That will not work in real life, I don't think. Let's see if Holden can bond with these freaking bees. <laughs> I love when they open it. It's like, oh. oh no, no, they've turned on him. They don't like him. Are they stinging him? He was trying to bond. I think he did. Self-proclaimed Lord of Bees from disturbing the bees. Oh my God. He did get stung. Oh my God. Did everyone get stung? Uh oh, I think Harper might be getting stung too. There's so many bees. Freaking chaos. It looks like Alicia and Rosa are bonding along. Obviously again, Rosa is focused AF. Oh, I think Rain got stung too. Now she feels uncomfortable. Poor thing. So we have a little bit of flirting going on up here on the dance floor, AKA the top of the stairs. And Alicia just came up here and they left. You know what? I think I want to interview Alicia. We're going to have her come and sit down at the interview's quarters. And I want to see, I just want to see where she's at. I want to see what she's feeling. Let me get my camera positioned. Hey Alicia, how are things going between you and the other contestants in the household? Uh, <laughs> um, actually, things are a little bit tense right now. 
Why? What's going on? Tell us the tea. What's going on? What's on your mind? Actually, I was feeling pretty good with my relationships in the beginning of this week, but now one of my best friends in this competition and my ally has turned against me. Oh, she's going to the bathroom. Okay, well, thank you. I definitely think if there's anyone who would see through this is Rosa. Rosa has kind of been like a no BS kind of player. She's been involved in no drama, although she just acquired the mischief skill. I just feel like she wouldn't be on to Harper acting this way. And we sort of have Rain like in the middle of all of this. Like she's kind of been friends with everybody. I don't think she's really picked sides at all. She's kind of just friends with everybody. It's actually getting pretty late outside. So I think I'm gonna introduce you guys to our next skill-based competition. So our next competition will be a cooking competition. It's about to get hot in the kitchen. Our Sims are gonna come down here and prepare three different dishes. Part of our menu is gonna be a garden salad to start, vegetable dumplings, and franken beans for the entree, which sounds disgusting in a good way. <laughs> and at the end of this competition, whoever has the most skill points in cooking is going to be the winner. And whoever has the lowest is going to be in the bottom three. But wait, there's a twist. We are going to be bringing back one of our competitors only to give us a gift. One of our competitors is going to be given the advantage of cooking an extra meal. That means they're gonna have a whole extra meal opportunity to gain extra skill point and having a huge leg up on the competition. And the player giving off that gift is none other than Grayson. Grayson, who was eliminated last week, is going to have the opportunity to hand out the gift to a sim of his choosing. Who are you gonna pick there, Grayson? So we're gonna get everyone to come down the ladder just like last time, get in their spots. Everyone is still in their bathing suit from the bee experience. I hope everyone isn't too sore. Our sims are feeling good today. They had a great day outside, chilling by the pool. Everyone's in their swimwear. No one's feeling uncomfortable, actually, which is a first. Yeah, even Alicia feeling confident. Let's go. I'm also gonna get Grayson to come down here. I don't know where he's painting. So everyone is in their position, including Grayson. Are we really that curious about who he's gonna be giving it to? Grayson is choosing to give the gift to Rain. So Rain is gonna have the advantage of cooking the extra meal. Cute little gift. Thank you, Grayson. I love them. I can't. He's so happy. Oh, she's giving him a rose back. So cute. Okay, thank you, Grayson. It's time to send you off. <gasps> Whoa, Rain gave Grayson a gift with a romantic message? You are my heart, my soul, my treasure, my today, my tomorrow, my forever, my everything? Okay, we've only been here for three days, but I'll take it. Okay, thank you, Grayson, but I'm gonna have to send you home again. I'm so sorry. We love ya. Goodbye. All right, the door has been shut. I think what I'm gonna do is queue everything up for our Sims. So we're gonna go cook the garden salad, single servings for everything. So we're gonna start the competition in three, two, one. Let's do it. There's only two fridges here. It's gonna get a little squishy. I gotta make sure everyone gets their proper salad. We got people chopping away, people acquiring the cooking skill for the first time. Alicia putting hers in a bowl. Harper hasn't even gotten her salad to start yet. Alicia is done. <laughs> I should have added more fridges here. I'm gonna add another fridge in the back. I will say I do find it a little bit ironic that these three girls have taken up all the room. Do I sense a little bit of sabotage here between these three and Harper and Holden? The girls have all finished their garden salads and Holden and Harper are just starting. All right, chopping it up. Where are you putting that? Oh, on the oven. Okay, sure. Butler, butler. The butler's here to clean up. No, we do not need more people in here. What are you doing? Rosa's getting started on the vegetable dumplings. Holden reached cooking level two already? Sir, Harper also reaching cooking level two because she cooked the meal at the beginning and maybe Holden was cooking too. Alicia and Rain getting started on their dumplings back here. Alicia not feeling too good. Come on, you can do it. Okay, Rosa also reaching cooking level two. I think hers are in the oven. These look delicious. <laughs> like, I love dumplings. Rosa's on the final dish, holding about to put the dumplings in the bowl. I love all the people that are just stopping to like snack. Like Rain ate her entire dish of dumplings. <laughs> Frank and Bean seem to be going well. Rosa plating her final dish. Oh my God. Oh, look out. <laughs> we should have hired Gordon Ramsay for this one. I think everyone is on their final dish or just starting it. Holden and Harper just starting the final dish. This butler is killing me trying to clean up in the competition. <laughs> I mean, thanks. We appreciate it. Yeah, pretty much everyone is done in here except for Rain, um, who is just starting the Frank and Beans. And she still has to make the grilled cheese too. Oh, she's finished her Frank and Beans. Okay, so you are gonna go and make a grilled cheese. Having the 
only advantage in this competition, hopefully that extra grilled cheese is gonna get you ahead a little bit. I can't believe we didn't have a fire. Look at all this food, this is such a waste. Okay, she's cooking her final grilled cheese. I hope this is a really hefty one. Get you those points. Her grilled cheese is complete. So I'm going to let them go to bed, I think. I've unlocked the door, everyone can leave on their own will if they want to. It looks like everyone is very tired, it's late. I'm gonna count the skill points. I really love how Grayson came to paint half a picture and then left. <laughs> Look at this freaking butler. I'm kind of obsessed with the butler. Just like having a freaking drink over here. You do you. She made it for herself and then sat down and enjoyed it. We love ya. So it's the next day, our sims are all awake, and I'm gonna be revealing the bottom three. In the bottom, with the lowest amount of cooking skill points, we've got Alicia with 164 points, Rosa with 181 points, and Rain in the bottom again with 197 points. That's our alliance. Oh my God, that was the alliance that was trying to sabotage Harper and hold it. And all of them ended up in the bottom. Oh my gosh, T means the winner of the cooking competition is Holden with 209 points. That leaves Harper safe from elimination. She has 203 points. That means that these two ended up being in the top together. Look at that. That means it's Holden's turn with the winner's bedroom and these two seem to be hitting off. I can see some celebrating happening potentially. <laughs> This is going to be our Sims last attempt to gain some relationship points to keep them from going home. It seems that Alicia has gone back to her highest relationship with Holden and they are flirting up a freaking storm. Where is Harper? Harper is sleeping. She has nothing to worry about. <gasps> Oh, Harper is not going to like that. What is she doing? She's just up here dancing by herself. I don't think anyone saw that. Oh no. All right, I think our Sims have conversed enough. They are actually gaining pretty good relationships right now and I don't know what's going on, but these VIP buckets be working overtime. Everyone is so flirty right now. Let's go downstairs and reveal who is going home. Everyone is gathered downstairs. We're gonna get Alicia to come up on the podium, please, along with Rosa and Rain. That means Harper and Holden basically just get to wait here and watch. We're gonna break down the relationships. First, I'm gonna find out who is going to be safe. First up, we have Alicia. Let's check out the friends category first, and we see that Alicia has made four friends already, including our romantic relationship, Holden. Then we've got Rosa with three friends in the competition. We've got Alicia, Holden, and Harper. Then we have Rain with four friends as well, but we're not gonna count Grayson, I don't think, at this stage of the game. This is very close, and I have no idea when that ran random like relationship bar showed up. I missed that interaction. I don't know when that happened. This is close. We're gonna add it up. I'm gonna find out who is safe first. All right, the person who is safe tonight is Alicia. Alicia is safe with 160 points. So she is not going to be the one going home. Alicia, please get off the podium. Thank you, you are safe. That means it's going to have to be between Rain and Rosa. Rain, our slightly evil devil core romantic sim. And Rosa, our super focused witchy core queen. The person who is going to be going home today is Rosa. Rosa, you are going home, my love. I'm sorry. Rain had 159 points. Rosa with 111. That means, unfortunately, Rosa is going to be the next one to go home. We have to go take the selfie. Rain, you can come down from there. Rain, I think she likes it up there. I honestly thought Rosa would go all the way. Oh, Look at that picture. Rosa saying her goodbyes to Alicia and I feel like she is like telling her to keep her head in the game. Keep your head focused and you can get it. I feel like Rosa was kind of like a motherly figure in a way to Alicia. She has this mature aura about her. She just, she was a really amazing player. But unfortunately, listen, okay, the bartender, you're gonna ruin the walk. Not the bartender leaving at the same time. You're ruining the walk. Okay, Rosa, wait, wait, wait. We'll just let you do your thing. Goodbye, bartender. I didn't even know you were here. So Rosa. Rosa is walking away. Our genius focused Rosa. She didn't involve herself in any drama. She played a clean, nice, good game. I thought she was gonna win. I, I honestly did. Goodbye, Rosa, and good luck. That means Holden is going to be the one going into the winner's suite, along with the infestation of freaking gnomes that we also have here now. Wait a minute. Um, ma'am, Miss Thing, who let you in here? Where did you get a key? Was it the butler? That freaking butler. I gotta fire her. Wait a minute. Wait 
Wait a minute. Did Holden give you a key? I'm suspecting a little bit of foul play here. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, okay. All right, well, we're gonna end it here, friends. That's all we got for this episode of The Sims 4 Reality House. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.